Hi guys, this is Vivendex Henshi and this is my first look at ProCut X, an iPad application that lets you control Final Cut Pro on your Mac with your iPad. So once you downloaded the app from the App Store and you open it, then you'll be prompted to put in an email address and then you receive an email from the developer with a link to download the application or the server application for your Mac and then you'll have to install it, which we'll see right here in System Preferences and then you can click on it and then you see right here that you have to turn on these final, or the ProCutX server. So once you've done that, then you also have to go to Final Cut Pro and then also you can see up here under commands, you have to put in the ProCutX keyboard set, but this is all detailed in the instructions. Now, then the next step, you can just go ahead, launch the application again on your iPad, and then it will search for a server. So in this case, this is obviously my iMac, I also installed it on my MacBook Pro. So here, just select the server. And then you're good to go. It says connected to Sebastian's iMac, I believe. And so if we put the just cursor right there, we can put, uh, press play here on the iPad and then it will start playing on the iMac. You can also scrub, which is really nice. So if you really need to find the perfect frame, this is a really nice feature. Other features, for example, include import footage, which will open the import window which is also a nice feature. Or if you're done with your project, then you can also go to send to compressor. Now I haven't installed it right now, but then you can send it to compressor or you can export your project by just pressing one button, which is really nice. Other features include, for example, that you can exchange the cursor for this uh, hand tool or also for the search tool or also for, for example, the cut tool. So this is all really nice and works really well and very responsive. Another feature, for example, is if you want to do voiceovers, then you can just hit this microphone right here and then it will bring up the audio recording setup and then you only have to press record and then it will record. So this is also great. Now, other features don't work 100% yet, at least not for me. Maybe this is a bug that I just have or maybe this is a bug in the app, I'm not quite sure. Definitely the service of the developers is great. You can just go to their website and then you have live chat. So while, for example, retiming here with 100% works, as you see right there on the screen, other things like 50% somehow don't work and give you the system tone. This is the same also on the um, fast forward. So I'm not quite sure what's happening there. But other things like reversing the clip works without any issues. And so to start out with, this is just an amazing application. It's definitely a little bit on the price side. It's above like 22 euros or I believe 25 US dollars. But so far it works great. Sure, there are still a couple of bugs, but I mean the app was just released a few hours ago. But I'm really looking forward to implementing the app into my workflow. And so especially this scrubbing through all the frames, which make me look completely stupid, is definitely a very nice feature. And this also works on the iPad mini, so no issues with that. You can also, for example, zoom in and out of your timeline, which I think is a great feature because this is something that I have to do a lot of times when I edit my videos. Now, I'm certainly not a Final Cut Pro expert, as you probably can tell by this video, but so far I really like the application. And I just think that this really improves the workflow. I think they're also working on more features for this application. So for example, that you can also use two iPads and then just split the controls to two devices and things like that. So, so far, I'm really impressed. You can also make auto corrections like white balance or auto end hands and all that stuff. So a great application, certainly pricey, but I think it's definitely worth it for Final Cut Pro. So this also pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this app, just leave them down in the comment section below and I'll be gladly to answer them. And so besides that, I'll scrub around a little bit more and I really hope to see my next video. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this application. This was actually something that I was really looking forward to, like scrubbing through my videos. And I'm pretty glad that you can now do this with an application and that you don't have to buy really a physical uh, control board for Final Cut Pro for it. Thank you very much for watching this video. 
please also make sure to hit subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and i really hope to see my next one